G'day, I'm Matt from Desktop Node. Today I'm starting something completely new. Uh, it's time to get organized. I've got a little Instagram account, which is starting to do some good things, but I tend to make up the content on the fly, which has worked okay up until now, but things are starting to shift and I need to get a little bit more organized with the content creation and a posting schedule. So what I plan to do is start some kind of bullet journal or planner or a combination of both. I'm not exactly sure yet. All right, some goals I need to achieve by doing all of this. I need a posting schedule, a content schedule. I have ambassador and affiliate obligations that I need to manage and track. And there's also other metrics that are nice to keep an eye on, such as you know, follower growth and the usual social media stuff. Now, because I don't know what I'm doing just yet and what exactly it is that I need, I'm going to be following along with my buddy Mark's channel. He's got a channel called Mark Your Pages. He has a wealth of knowledge on bullet journaling, planning and all that associated stuff. So regardless of what level you're at, I'm sure you'll find something there that uh, you'll get some benefit out of. Right, first things first, I think I'm going to need a notebook. So the one that Mark has suggested to me, uh, and probably for very good reason, is this one by, well, not this particular one, but uh, the notebook company, Archer and Olive. Uh, they're a nice hard to cover book, uh, and the pages are 160 GSM. So if you want to get a bit arty with it, it'll handle pretty much anything that you can throw at it. You don't need to use an Archer and Olive notebook. You don't even need to use a really fancy notebook. If you're interested in following along with this journey that I'm, I'm going on here, you can use whatever notebook you've got with you, whatever pens and pencils and, and highlighters, whatever you want to use. Okay, so when you get a new notebook, when I get a new notebook, the first thing I like to do is flip right to the back page and try a whole bunch of different markers, pens, pencils. Just get crazy with it. I like to see what the pages can handle. I like to see what... Well, I like to know what pens and pencils I can and can't use. Uh, if you want to use fountain pens, fountain pen ink, um, alcohol markers, uh, they're a bit touchy. I really don't think it's going to handle that. Uh, but you don't know unless you test it. So it's almost like a tradition. You get a new notebook, flip right to the back page, grab out a whole bunch of different pens, paints, markers, highlighters, and just start testing. What we were trying to see is if you get any bleed through the pages onto the next page. And we certainly don't want to see any ghosting because that just detracts from the uh, the visuals when you're, when you're working through your book. All right, now that we've uh, scribbled in our books and totally mucked up the back page, which is just fine, we know that we can use this pen, that pen, that paint, that ink. You'll have a good idea about what tools you want to use moving forward. So the next video, I'll talk about the planning that we need to do for our pages to set up, what kind of indexes or intentions pages. And this is all from Mark's channel that I've, I've picked all this up. Weekly spreads, monthly spreads, trackers, all that kind of stuff. We're going to start mapping that out and planning how we're going to lay out some of this work in our books. Until then, please hit subscribe, follow along, hit that little bell notification, whatever it is that the YouTubers do. I'm pretty excited to be doing this finally. I've been thinking about this for a little bit now. Um, and I just wanted to say thanks for watching the first one. Bye for now.